you know, to answer your question softly, mm -hmm. you know, don't feel like it's about you. Or don't make it about the yourself, the agent. Make it about them. Mm -hmm. Like, and just remembering to put the, you know, the beneficiary in front of thought in front of both of you. Yeah, it's, it's the belief principle that yeah. we talked uh -huh. about earlier. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, so just watching your process was awesome. Uh, I, I think a question that a lot of agents have is uh, what are some of the objections that you're getting and, and how are you addressing them? Um, what does that sound yeah. like? Yeah, I mean, you want to try to eliminate them at the beginning without, you know, running into them. Mm -hmm. Like Zach yeah. always says, "Well, I don't get them." <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. When, yeah. When if you, you handle when, them up front, you don't. And yeah. he does a great job at it. Yeah, and when you do get them, you know, you got to make sure you properly bring it back a little bit and mm -hmm. say, "Hey, I'm, you know, I don't even know if I can get you approved for this because you take this water pill." You know, mm -hmm. so it, you just got to go back and let them know that you know that you're here to help and advise. I'm on mm -hmm. your team, and uh, just give them. You know, to answer your question softly, mm -hmm. you know, don't feel like it's about you. Or don't make it about the yourself, the agent. Make it about them. Mm -hmm. Like, and just remembering to put the, you know, the beneficiary in front of thought in front of both of you. Yeah, it's it's the belief principle that yeah. we talked uh -huh. about earlier. Belief, correct. Belief, yeah. yeah. He has a strong. Um, the, the thing that I like about you, Jason, is like you are so confident in your own ability to help them. Sometimes the pauses, while like just while you're looking for something, seems like they go on for like eight or ten seconds. And for a talker like me, it's like panic starts to set in because <laughs> it's so quiet for so long. Yeah. And it's not even. You just have such command and control. You're the thing I would say, Austin, is that it's non-salesy. Mm -hmm. Like Jason oh, yeah, does not sure. sound like a salesperson on the phone. He sounds like somebody who's there to help them based on their requests. And I'm just the advisor. I'm just doing my job. Yep. And I, I, man, it's 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 wild to see your to, to your process work like that. Actually, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, how do I not sound salesy like the whole time? Like, keep a natural tone, you know, making sure you, you're going at a good pace, constant pace, and not going too fast, and having to explain things to them. Because mm -hmm. I mean, that's what some people will, especially if they can't see it on a piece of paper or read your body actions. You got to slow down. And make sure they're understanding exactly what's going on in this conversation where we're mm -hmm. going. Yeah. So. And so for the blues that are listening, or the sanguines, or the eyes on the disc profile, right? And you're the people person that wants to talk and get feedback and engagement, and everything's fun, and we're going to do this great. And I'm, but you know, I have some of that in me. I'm at the top of the, at the <laughs> middle of that. So uh, I'm, I'm right there between red and blue, you know, in the colors, or the, the D and I on the disc profile, or. The Enneagram, I don't even know which numbers I am. You, Austin, I think you know. You're a seven wing eight. There you go. So, <laughs> so Austin knows my Enneagram. And if you're listening and you don't know what any of those are, you probably need to reach out to us and consult because we'll help you identify your personality so that you can communicate with others most effectively also. But for the S's or the, sorry, the I's and the blues and the sanguines, right, your approach is almost like, it's almost, uh, for them, it seems incorrect. It would seem like an incorrect way to approach a sale. His uh, approach inspires me and terrifies you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, Austin, that's what he does. And you were like, how much do you pay me, Roger? Uh, and how much does he make? Like, he was literally doing math. He was literally doing math when you left the studio. And I'm thinking... You're doing a great job <laughs> editing, Austin. You're the best editor I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing math. Go, buy, go buy some more cameras. <laughs> and, and you were inspiring. You were inspiring. So uh, I, I'm. I'm. Um, I want to. I want to make sure that our listeners understand that it's. It's a process. It's the principles of the sale, and any personality can make it work. Mm -hmm. And especially over the phone, non-salesy is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Anything and you know, I mean, as long as you are comfort comfortable and you know how to close in your own personality and mm -hmm. tone. I mean, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of companies say you know tonality and having a lot of fluctuation in your voice stuff like that. Like I try, <laughs> I try to do yeah. that, but it just naturally comes at a steady, confident pace. Mm -hmm. And that way, I feel like I'm in control and I know what direction I want to take them. Mm -hmm. And that we're it's more of a serious matter than a sales, you know. 
got a great deal deal for you today. You know, I can't, yeah, I, I'm not that's that, not I'm you. Not that person. No. That's not you. You you have a consistent assumptive close. Assumptive, value. yeah. You know, it, it's oh. there is no other way, right? Like your your approach almost feels to me like, well, you're already committed. I'm just. We're just, We're just picking yeah. the color of your car, what, color, <laughs> yeah, right. what kind of interior. Like, you already got the car, right? You, we already know you want it and you need it. I'm the delivery but person, you're not just, the salesman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's your approach, and it's mm-hmm. just so calming. And, like, man, this guy's got me taken care of. We're just, we're just going to do this. And, you know, uh, he, he does care. And he said, well, I, I should probably not go with the, the, you know, the glossy finish because that would show fingerprints. I need to do the and yeah. you know he's right like he knows what he's talking about he does this every day right like yeah. it, that is how it feels mm. yeah um and and obviously it works yeah you close yeah. by the way the the one i listened into closed them had a great sale yeah um, and so they uh they didn't answer the phone at first either we had to call them back oh yeah yeah, yeah. that one we called what two or three times uh-huh. I was like, man, I'm not going to get this video, and then Roger's going to get rid of me. But good news, I'm going to chase him. What was so wild is he walked out, and I said to him, don't you have another sale right now? You're like, yeah, but i got to get back to the office. I'll just do this one on the way back in the car. <laughs> I'm like, what? You're going to call them from while you're driving? <laughs> oh, I've, I've done that. I did that last week, too. Well, like he knows was, his stuff so well, he mm-hmm. can literally do mm-hmm. appointments while he's driving. What yeah. do you say to people? They got to hear road noise. Uh, yeah, probably do. I, you know, who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can save that maybe for another yeah. call. How you address those things? I got, just got a few more rapid things. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value out of it, please subscribe right here and this button, this one, this button or you can continue watching videos there. Thanks for watching.